Hi and welcome to another video. Um, so this is a battery bank um, that I bought from AliExpress. I saw it was on special offer. I think it was around 21 or 23 pounds with a coupon. Um, and then as you can see it uh, came with, so you've got the, the power bank here uh, and it has a display. Um, and then we can go into more details later. I think it comes in colour black and a white. And I think the one I've ordered is black. Um, and then also came with the option of a cable, I think was an extra pound. And you can see here the phone cable, if we open it, is a, a multi cable as well. So, so you can see here. Um, so yeah, so the quality is quite good, it's not too bad, I um, mean, can't moan for the price. It seems to be quite hard wearing as well, and it's braided. Um, so as this is a USB Type A uh, cable, and then it's a multi port one here, so you've got USB Type C, then you've got uh, your micro USB and your uh, lightning, Apple lightning uh, port cable. So yeah, so uh, it's not too bad to be honest for an extra pound to get the cable. Seems quite hard wearing um, and you can't really moan for the price and all the connections as well seem to be firm and the build quality is very good as well. And the same as the end here. And as you can see here, the USB Type-A port, which goes in deeper to the power bank, um, is really good. So yeah, so that's the build quality here in the plastics and the braided cable is uh, very durable. I think it will last because it's got the long connection here for the bending as well. So yeah, so that's quite good. So now we're going to move on to the actual power bank itself. Um, so the details around this power bank is that it's um, 50,000 milliamps, so it's big battery capacity, um, but the rated capacity is only 40,000 milliamps. Uh, input is 5 volts, 2.1 amps, and the USB output is 5 volts, 2.1 amps. And of course it comes in the colours white and black. Um, overall it is a heavy um, uh, device, the power bank. is. Uh, you can see it's quite big. Um, so we'll just open it up now. It does come well packaged. Of course it comes from uh, China. Um, so it automatically comes with a small USB-A to U um, micro USB cable comes with a user guide um, basically just tells you thank you for um, purchasing it and I think you've got some details around here about the charging um, so around the USB and everything else so we'll have a look later at that so hopefully you can see and let's get that out of the box As you can see, it is a, a good, thick uh, battery bank. So as you can see here, it is hefty. <laughs> I haven't weighed it. Uh, I will weigh it and put it into the, the uh, description. Um, but like it says on here as well, you might not be able to see because the writing is quite... Um, light here so the capacity is 50,000 milliamps is rated at 40,000 input is 5 volts 2.1 amps and it's lightning type c and micro usb input output is 5 volts 2.1 amps and that's four usb ports plus type c and made in china and it's got the ce um, mark as well there um, but overall the quality of the plastic is hard. Um, it does have a screen, so we'll have a look at see at that. And there's obviously the power button here. So looking at the 
the ports uh, it's actually got a torch um, and then the inputs for charging the actual device is type c lightning and the micro usb um, so of course i presume by voltage wise type c will be the fastest way to charge this and then forget i know it's their capacity is says 50,000 but then it's rated for 40,000 but still quite a lot of um, ampage to charge so type c probably be the quickest but you do have options here um, then you've got your usb here so again it said it was rated at 2.1 amps these ones here are the fast charge uh, ports and these are the standard uh, 1 amp 5 volt charging usb but you can use all four uh, as it states here output is 5 volt 2.1 amps for four usb ports ah so and type c so you can for external for also these ones here you can charge so you can use your device here to charge using micro usb but that might be quite slow but also you can use each of these four ports to um, output and also the type c so type c is input and output capable so that's quite good um, so now we'll so as we can see here is that currently says 67 percent uh, it comes pre-charged um, so it's quite good it comes pre-charged already so let's have a look we'll use the supplied cable that it comes with and then plug that into one of the fast charge ports so that clicks in and it's still got out and now I can charge my Galaxy Fold so that's a USB type C and we can see from here to see if uh, the charge and you can see it says there 5 volt 2.1 amps and you can see my phone is currently charging so I can go to and we can see here I just click the button again 66% and it says 5 volt 2.1 amps so currently I'm registering this is by USB type C and the fast charging port at six going up to 600 maximum milliamps currently at 320 my phone is at only 33% so it should charge a bit quicker voltage is 3.773 volts So we aren't seeing the uh, what it's saying here. I probably presume that if it's maximum 600 from the power pack, it might need because it's only just been delivered, so it might need to a full charge first before it outputs maximum um, ampage and the voltage. Um, so we can give it the benefit of the doubt. But it may be the 2.1 amps is spread across the actual four ports here, um, and then perhaps uh, later. Um, if you want to I can do another review and then um, what I'll do is I'll do another test with the USB-C to USB-C and then uh, put in the description what the ampage is but as you can see it is going up it's fluctuating the charge um, but the maximum was 600 um, but it's averaging around 400 now we're going to 3.82 volts so it might be as I said it's not fully charged um, and so we'll see uh, it's going up to 660 now so that's after about a minute so it is slowly climbing so it might be just it needs to give time to, for it to charge but like i said this hasn't been fully charged i just got it straight out of the box um, and you can see the ampage is going up
So now as you can see after giving it a while um, it is slowly increasing uh, to I think the maximum is now 880 milliamps. So what we can do now is I'll have a USB type C to type C cable so we can try to see if the output increases um, with the USB type C cable. So I'll just unplug this one. And now plug this one in here. And now we'll try plugging in and charging using, I'll put the power button, you just have to push it once. And it says output, or it says out. So it says it's measuring. So I am not getting any So if you push it once, again, you got in, so double time it gives you the torch, and, do and double click again, switches it off. I am not currently getting anything from the type C port. I'm getting no charge at all. It does say on the back here that it does uh, output and plus type C. So it might be something that I need to look up and I'll update you in the description to see why it's not but it does register as out and uh, or even holding it down does not give me anything else from the USB type C so that's their cable here that came with it um, so that seems to work fine, their cable. And we can uh, try to see. So that's all gone. So yeah, so that doesn't seem to be working there. Um, what I'll do is um, I will give this a full charge overnight of the uh, power bank. Um, so we can then see if it does give a better charge. Um, and as I said, as I put in the description, the weight of the actual item as well. But you've got enough ports here and the capacity as well. I will measure um, to make sure to see what it is. Um, but yeah, um, thanks for watching. And if you have any questions about the power bank, I'll put a link to the AliExpress um, seller that I got it from. And as I said, it got delivered within about a month four weeks um and yeah and no problems at all but i will uh i'll give you a follow-up um later on uh, thanks for watching and please like and subscribe